Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video about something. Uh, that was like super irritating for me for a long time. Uh, this is LibreOffice, I don't have Microsoft Office, but it doesn't matter, it's all the same in all the Office programs. And even, like, I'm actually gonna demonstrate it in Google Drive because why not? Uh, let's say you want to have some kind of, um, and I have like a scale of 150, so you can see it better. Let's say you want to have some kind of like dual column document and you have something like dates, maybe I don't know, October 14, 2019, uh, and then you want the name of someone. Uh, I'm just use my own name because why not? And you want a signature, so you just leave a field or something like, that, like this. And a lot of office workers, they do this. They actually type a whole bunch of spaces. And what, what it means is that if the name is different, they have to readjust it so it kind of fits. My god, this is so fiddly. And this is wrong. This is not how you're supposed to do this. I'm going to introduce you to tabs. Uh, this little thing, you can click uh, left click with... Uh, like in Google Docs, this is triggered by left click. In the Microsoft Office, you have to right click, uh, and in LibreOffice, you do double click. Yeah, you do double click, and then he asks you which one do you want to insert, uh, and then you can switch them with right click. Well, yeah, delete them, whatever. We're just gonna stick to Google Drive because why not? Ah, so let's make it pretty. You type in date. And then you don't press space. I just press space. I don't know why. Instead, you press tab. It's the button which is supposed to be on the left of button Q. It might have tab written on it, or it might have two arrows opposing to each other. Like, yeah, it has to be one of those. Um, and it's not the key which you frequently use, but you should use it in this case. By default, it just adds really large spaces, and those spaces will be aligned on each consecutive line. So if I'll do this, I can do this, and you can see it still lines up with C. It's not like if it has like s specific number of spaces; they all uh, they they form like a grid. What you can do is you can alter that grid by placing a tab stop. And what that allows you to do is to control where it starts and when it ends. So you can move here and say 13, 2019. Then you do another tab. And you can see this is like, this is not what we want. What we want now is at the right tab stop. We're going to align it over here. And then I'm going to do this. And the last one is, I'm gonna make one more, put it at the very end, press tab, and then put this. Now, what is good about it, uh, this entire method is that you can go to another line, let's say um, we have some kind of like date A, I don't know, date B, Yeah, and then you tab, and you have some kind of Joe W. Read. I have no idea if this person that really exists. I'm just coming up with names. Yeah, and then you just do this, and look at that. It all it it all nicely lined up. You don't have to like fiddle around with all spaces and stuff. And if you want to, to space those lines, you obviously just space the lines. That's it. Like. Why people are not using this? I have no idea. And if you want to adjust them, just select all the lines you want to adjust and just just do it. Just do it. It's so easy. Like, uh, all of these office workers, they're supposed to know this stuff. They're supposed to, like, uh, learn this in whatever courses they took about uh, any of this. But they, they just don't. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's just so... Yeah, you can see LibreOffice actually shows us these boxes, but um, I'm okay. I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna replace them with tabs, like that. Yeah, and it kind of lines up with a grid, which is not what we want. And now we just do this. Oh, it's double click. You can you can do it with with double click apparently. 
um, yeah. So what we what you want to do is select both lines and then double click, and it should add. Oh no, it's single click. Yeah, single click and then right click to to uh, change the type, and then another one click and right and like this. Look at that, easy, real easy. Why people are not using it? I don't know. All right, maybe you um, like if you want to erase them all. Well, in LibreOffice, you double click and you delete them all, uh, and you can delete them uh, the same way. If you kind of like want to erase them when you in Google Drive or otherwise, yeah, or if you want to erase one, just drag it off and it will disappear. Uh, let's say we also have some kind of like. Mm. Oh, I know. We have Agent Black versus Agent White. And we want this to be like nice and it will be kind of like a legal document. I don't, I don't know. So, what we want to do is we place the tabs again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a right tab stop first. I'm also going to do this because why not? Then I'm going to place a center tab stop. And this will be the position for our versus label. And I'm going to play, praise. Um, no, wait, I need it left one. Do I need left one? Yeah, left one. Okay. Yeah, and this is what I get. And you can continue on the next line. Just press tab in order to get. Uh, and. Tap, tap. And. Uh, It'll be funny if the, all of those people and corporations actually exist. <laughs> yeah, but again, people don't use it. I don't know why. Well, anyway, that's the video. I hope I hope you learned something new.